Hello everyone, my name is Maya Gola and I'm an instructor at Clearisk and I'm also three times AWS certified. So the first certification that I have is Cloud Practitioner, this practitioner. The second one that I have is AWS Solutions Architect Associate. And the third one that I have that I recently took was the DevOps Developer Associate one. So I actually passed the Developer Associate one with a score of 953 out of 1000 and I'm literally very excited and happy about that. And I think you guys can get that too. So I'm just making this video to tell you guys how you can also pass the certification with a good score so i'm just going to give you guys some tips and you know like i'm just going to give you and tell you about the things that i did to study for the certifications so maybe that can help you guys too and yeah let's go on the video and i'm just going to tell you guys about my experience Getting a 953 out of 1000 for the developer associate was a kind of, you know, a little tricky because the exams and the certifications are difficult. I'm not going to say that they're really easy. You need to have some experience, have a hands-on experience, a lot of knowledge to pass the certification questions because you know, more of them are scenario based. And, you know, you need to have an understanding of AWS to pass the certification that is what aws is testing you for so one of the things that made me pass the certification and with a good score was practice so the main thing is you need to do hands-on practice on aws management console check out their course guideline for the certification you're taking so for example you're taking the developer associate one so check out their course guideline on the aws side see what they're asking for and check all these services they're talking about so for example they're talking about you know s3 so go open s3 in the management console and make an s3 bucket or whatever add some objects add add some files in it and see what happens like you know do some hand hands-on work then in the developer associate one you need to know about the ci cd pipeline so just get on the quick start for example i actually did a code pipeline for the quick start quick start which aws actually gives you a full guideline about so i did that ci cd pipeline with cross accounts so these are some mini projects that you should do to get some hands-on work on aws not only this you should also do some other kind of works like you know you should um you know like check out all the aws services open them see their configurations like aws code commit make a repository how to make a connection from the github repository to your aws code build for example how to build projects how to deploy projects how to actually make a ci cd pipeline so you should all do some hands-on work some no actually do hands-on work on them then you will able to get the you know exposure of what aws actually is and then when you study for the syllabus or for, for the syllabus for the certification then you'll be easily able to pass it so hands-on work first of all hands-on work is a must it's the most important thing i for me i think because you need to do some hands-on work only then you will understand what the questions and the certification are talking about only if you do the theory or you know just memorize things you won't be able to pass the certification because that is you know something just you know for example you only memorized for example one thing like the definition of s3 but that won't help you if the question is about asks you about something about like something inside of s3 the configuration of s3 then what will you do so that's why you need hands-on work the second thing we come to is the theory like you need also need to know what s3 is for example or what what are the uh, aws uh, like you know d developer tools what are the other tools so, so you need to know about them you need to kind of know the definitions not the definitions but you know you need to know the understanding of what they actually are what they are used for so these are the things that you need to understand and study for so this certificate to, to give the certification you actually need a, like, I think a lot of time and you should like you know practice a lot so for me for example i studied every day for you know around one hour to two hour with some breaks so i only studied for that every day for my aws certifications so recently i did the developer associate one and in that i got the 953 out of thousand which is around you know you know 95 percent and that was actually really i was really proud of myself however i did a lot of efforts so i think if you guys want to pass the certification too, hard work and effort is a must. So that is what also what I did. And yeah, one of, one, of, one of the other things that I should tell you about is the 
practice exams actually practice exam also are a really helpful because once you're done the, with the hands-on work once you're done with the theory and you know everything then you move on to the practice exams practice exams are available on many various sites but i think uh, on udemy they're really helpful actually i've also made a practice exam for the developer associate one on udemy i also put the link of it in the description so you guys can also you guys know check that uh, out course out and if you guys want to take some practice tests you can i've actually made four practice tests and i made the practice tests with my not with only my knowledge but also related to the certification exams that i got so the questions in that are very updated and exam specific it will help you a lot so do also check that out and practice exam as i was talking about is a must so the practice exams really help you you know understand what type of questions will come in the certification so once you do all the practice you will get to understand and see where you stand like how much scores are you getting in your practice exam style how you know if you'll pass the actual certification so and aws also provides practice exams so but the practice exams aws provides are only a few questions like you know i think you get 20 or 30 questions they are helpful too so you should also check them out and take the practice exam before giving the actual exam so that you can actually get to know about the exam and see where you stand so practice exams are also a must and yes another thing i want to talk about is you know experience too you need a lot of experience in aws you need to work you need to take time out and actually study and you know do hands-on work on aws to get these certifications however certification you can't take certifications in two or three weeks it's not that easy you need to actually prepare for it you know do the hands-on work first then the theory then the kind of understanding then practice exams in the last and then you take and schedule your certifications so certifications are a must they actually validate your skills so that is a really good thing i'm actually down with three certifications and i'm actually currently also studying for my fourth one which is the devops pro one professional one so i'm looking forward to that certifications too that certification too so let's see how it goes and yes i just wanted to make this small kind of video and tell you guys about my experience the th the few tips that i gave you guys maybe they help you understand and if you guys have any questions do let me in the comment section below too so i can help you guys if you have any questions if you guys want some do also check out my uh, practice exam course on udemy if you're studying for the developer associate one hopefully it will help you a lot and yes i'll just end the video over here don't forget to also like and comment and subscribe to our channel at Claydesk, which is you know we upload many course not only courses but we have very many many video lessons so so do also check them out and maybe they'll help you and yes now i'm just going to end the video over here just don't forget to like comment subscribe and also share this video if you guys want to share it with your you know friends or professionals and maybe it will help you do let me know in the comments too and yes bye